Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace, live here at the Blue Note. Tonight I'm getting ready to interview Maya Azucena, the Grammy Award winning vocalist. Maya is very, very passionate about her music. She's very earthy as well as soulful. But she's also passionate about humanitarian issues such as domestic abuse as well as civil rights. Got you seeking red. You have a new record coming out. Yes, I do. I am looking forward to this finally because um, we've been working on it for a couple of years. And now I feel closer than ever to, you know, realizing this project. And um, I feel though that the CD that I'm about to put out is the CD that I've been wanting to make from the beginning. So I'm just especially excited about bringing it out into the world. Um, it'll be called Cry Love. So... So what's the difference between Maya Who and Cry Love? Maya Who, which was my debut CD, as you know, um, was my first CD, which I think is a strong first effort. Um, it was based around my live band. and um, But I think what was missing in Maya Who was the raw energy and the, the kind of the, the, uh, the more um, edgy, dynamic that um, I have as an artist and people always get that at the live shows but it's um, it's actually a technique to figure out how to translate that onto a recording so I feel that Maya Who was a fine CD but I also feel that it didn't it didn't show or prove the the actual range that I have um, and then Junkyard Jewel which was my second CD is an acoustic CD um, what I, the, the reason I did that was um, because I was still working on Cry Love and it wasn't ready. And um, I tour a lot as an acoustic trio as well. Um, and a lot of fans have asked me, you know, you should do a CD like that. You need to put a CD out like that. So we decided to, why don't we capture that sound and um, put that out for the fans and, and make it available. But Cry Love is the next project which will be fully produced, you know, horn section, strings, um, my full rhythm section, overdub beats, collaborations, the whole thing, and, and a lot of, you know, like heart. You
musically, what do you want your fans to come away with? Because it seems like each artist has a different flavor, has a different flow, and people take away different things musically as well as spiritually. Because there's a spiritual connection to your music as well. Yeah, I mean, if you want to know, like, before every show, you know, um, the whole band gets together, and usually I have a prayer with my band, you know. And the heart of that prayer is usually that I want people to feel moved and uplifted by this music and to feel feel motivated, you know. Um, I think my greatest desire through music is to be able to inspire people to recognize their own power, you know what I'm saying, and to 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 have enough strength to overcome circumstances, um, to know that they're not alone. You know, these are all these, and and people know they're not alone when their voice is represented. Another thing that you're very, very passionate about is civil rights. You you are out on the front lines for a lot of activism. What got you so passionate about life and fighting for the rights for people? I think that a lot of people um, in the world make their make major decisions based off of fear. They are uh, afraid of doing what they feel, you know, in their heart to do. And as a result, I think that there are a lot of people in the world who are oppressed, most likely because there are so many people that are afraid to stand up, you know, for their rights, for justice, you know, simple, humane, you know, things. And for me, I I don't have fear and I feel that God gave me music as a weapon, you know, it's a weapon that I can that I should boldly use to represent, you know what I'm saying? Is people that are afraid, oh, it's going to be too, you know, I'm like, yo, people need to hear this. People need to be invigorated. People need, you know, so for me, it's like, I am so thankful that I can sing and offer something that, that uh, can support and shed light and raise awareness on all the many causes, you know, humanitarian causes. That'll do it again for another edition of the Pace Report live here at the Blue Note here in New York City. I'd like to thank Maya for her time, her patience, and her hospitality, as well as the staff here at the Blue Note. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column as well as my past television and radio segments. As always, if it's in the groove, It'll make you move. Until next time, peace. Yeah,